Okay, I'm here to help you fix a Samsung Galaxy Tab that is overheating. Can be a common problem. First one is just common sense. Make sure it's not in a in a warm area. Like if you're in a car and it's near a heater, you know, the, heat's, the heat's uh, coming out, or if you have it in direct sunlight, that will make it overheat. You wanna make sure it's in the shade, in a cool place, preferably. If you have a case on it, like a case protector, that is one way to make it overheat. You might just want to keep it out of a case, use a different kind of case, or don't want use one at all, because you're doing more damage than good by keeping the case on there. All right, so, and then after you've tried that, what I want you to do is close any unnecessary apps. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to settings, and then from settings, what we're gonna do is go to apps right here, and these show apps, shows the apps that are um, using the most space. So what we're going to do is we're going to sort it by uh, last used. And so most likely the ones that are last used is the ones that's taking up all um, of the energy that makes it overheat. So for example, let's say Cookie Jam. If you know you're not going to be using it much anymore, go ahead and force stop it until you want to use it again. All right, and then and then um, turn it back on whenever you want to use it again. But that could help it from not overheating. Next thing I want you to do is go to battery up here. And from battery, what I want you to do, I want you to, uh, with power saving mode, I want you to turn that on. Okay, that's going to help your battery power or from, from overheating tremendously. Next thing I want you to do is to look at the, what's using the most batteries. View details. Same place we were at before. Go ahead and force stop any of these that are running because that's what's taking a lot of your energy. Now scroll up from the very top. And let's say I'm using Wi-Fi in my home. Well, if you have data, uh, mobile data on at the same time, you know, it's Verizon, your phone service, and that's on, that will put more pressure onto your tablet, go ahead and turn that off if you're indoors, right? All right, vice versa. If you're out and you're using the mobile data, turn the Wi-Fi off, okay? Bluetooth, if you have Bluetooth on and you're not pairing anything, go ahead and turn the Bluetooth off. All right, let's go ahead and turn Bluetooth off. All right. Next thing what I want you to do is um, look at your power cord. And a lot of times a defective power cord will make uh, a tablet overheat. Go ahead and consider replacing it. You'll see that uh, the, the, the Samsung Galaxy Tabs uses a USB-C. Just get another one. You might have another one laying around the home or go buy one on Amazon, because a lot of times these cords do wear out and then that's gonna overheat it. If you're plugging it into a computer, for example, or a desktop, try plugging it in directly to a wall, the USB directly into a wall. And you might find that that's a lot more efficient and then that's not gonna cause as much issues. All right, we talked about, uh, let's uh, actually go to display, back in settings. Go to display. In the brightness, you might want to lower the brightness a little bit. Okay. All right. Next thing you want to do is look at uh, screen timeout. Click on screen timeout. Right now I have it on a hefty five minutes. Maybe reduce the time to like a minute. So that way when you're going to get coffee or you're going to the bathroom, it won't be on while it's, um, you know, while it's just sitting. Again, make sure it's got plenty of ventilations. You could use it next to a fan, and that will help it out. If you have it like on a pillow, for example, and, and the air is not being able to circulate, that will cause it to overheat. So it would be better to put it on a flat surface like this or a desk as opposed to like a couch or something. Something that's got more uh, insulation like a couch or a chair is going to make it overheat a lot more. All right, and last but not least, you can do a um, you can do a factory restore, and that's going to make it fresh like it's out of the box. 
And to do that, what you want to do, of course, go back to settings. And what I want you to do is go to general management. And actually, what we're going to do is actually go to reset. Before you do a factory restore, reset all settings. Reset all settings and restart. See if that will fix the issue. And if that does not, I'd highly recommend you do a factory data reset. Now that's going to wipe out all your pictures and your videos and your information. It's going to be like it's fresh out of the box. But you might want to do that anyway because I've had tablets that come back to life after using them for two years. They're like a paperweight. And then you do a reset and they're, re they're revitalized and it'll bring new life to your tablet and you can use it another two years. So consider doing a factory data reset on it. All right. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, put it in the comment section. Tell me what kind of tab, Samsung Galaxy tab you have. This one is an A9. Tell me what you have. And make sure you subscribe.